Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 5. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so for this, we're going to be doing the FF Challenge. Um, oh, okay, 550 PP or less. <laughs> um, the Clio we have is 399, which this is actually what we got for uh, getting gold stars on all of the novice. Um, it's a much nicer looking car, so I'm going to go for that one. But as well, obviously, there's got to be more room for improvement. So let's go. Uh, that's 415, 409. Oh, that's quite expensive. Let's go, just go straight for this one. We'll go for intake tuning as well. Exhaust and catalytic converter. Four six two. That's very good there. The mid range. Actually, what was the high range? Yeah, it wasn't too much better, anyways. Um, I feel like that's a very good start for now. I think we just need uh, sports hard tyres as well. Equip those. Um, oh, so we got dirt and snow tracks. I'm hoping we have like actual races this time, not just um, the timed trials. But not like rally. Rally was... Ugh. Rally was uh, in the last game. Um, right, let's go FF challenge then. Uh, we're starting off with the Sakuba circuit. Then we're going to Deep Forest Raceway, which is one of my favourite tracks. And then we are going back to Twin Ring Motorgy. Motorgy? Correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, which is returning from like Gran Turismo PSP. It's good to see it back in the game. But let's go to Sakuba, first of all. Renault Clio, time to shine. Dun, ba, dun, ba, ba, ba. Right, who are we going up against? We're going up against a Eclipse, a Focus, an RCZ. Is that front-wheel drive? Ooh, that car looks like it should be rear-wheel drive. Nah, that's disgusting. Right, let's do this. We've got the Renault Clio Sport. Oh, this thing's quick now. To be fair, it does have a high-performance, like a mid-range turbocharger in it. So, I would presume it would be powerful now. Oh, maybe the brakes aren't as great, though. Just braking did that. What the hell is that car? What on earth is that? Here we go. We've obviously got three laps to do on this. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Perfect. Those corners are going very well. Was that flames coming out the back of the car then? Interesting. It is cool to see this stuff getting more and more realistic as time goes by. It is really cool to see. And it's cool to go back to older games as well because obviously this game is seven years old. And it feels so much more fun than, um, I mean, this came out the same year that Forza Motorsport 5 did for the Xbox One. Obviously, this game never made it to PS4, 
because they had been developing it for PS3 for so long that they couldn't then redevelop it for PS4 because there was no backwards compatibility. Um, but yeah, this is so much more fun than Forza 5 was. F though Forza Motorsport 5 was a bit of a disappointment. Same with Forza Motorsport 6. Impossible to drive. The handling mechanics were ruined from the last game. And then you got Forza Motorsport 7, which is decent, but still nowhere as enjoyable as this, because Forza Motorsport 7 is just too tedious. Here we go, nice. And across the line with a 3 minute 20 time. Very good. Right. Let's leave this menu. Some sad music because it's the end of the race. And we are going to head off. We're going to exit. And head to our next track which is... Once it loads, the deep forest raceway i'm looking forward to this one let's go let's just get straight into it let's see what's the starting grid looking like oh we got a golf gti we've got an srt4 oh interesting okay right we are here for race two of the ff challenge here we go Renault Clio, do us proud. Onto the brakes. Come on, come on, round we go. Nice. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, slow down here. Nice. Oh, very wide through there. Come on, come on, let's do this. Red Oak Leo. Perfect. That was stylish off the road there. Perfect. That was very good through that section there. Oh, come on. Tires were overheating like crazy through that section. Nice. Let's get around this second to last corner. Perfect. Nice. 
Nice. And across the line. Look at that. Right, and we got 7,000 credits, which is very nice. Three stars. Let's exit. There we go. And what are we looking for for the next race? What's the next race? The Twin Ring Motogi. Okay, let's go. Um, yes. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Bam, 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 bam. Right. Oh, okay. So we're against uh, two Renault Megans. Interesting. A Focus RS and a Accord. Okay. Right. Let's go. Twin Ring Motorg. Motorg. Whatever you want to say. Let's go. We have two Brazilians in this race. Interesting. Awesome. We've only got uh, two laps for this. Perfect. That turbo, though, is insane. Perfect. Right, we've got two more cars to overtake. Nice. Got some very good corners there. That's an old RS as well. Focus RS. Come on, let's get around here. Perfect. I think we've got a little bit too much traction control again. I think our car's back to max traction. Nice. Perfect. Tires are obviously heating up quite a lot, so I'm guessing extra power always puts a lot of pressure onto tires in this game. There we go, nice. Across the line with a time of 3 minutes 20. 3 minutes 21.7. Nice. Right, on to the next race. Uh, what is the next race? Actually, no, that's the final race of this championship, isn't it? Next up is the Camaro in the FR championship. Right, let's exit. We destroyed those Megans, though. But then again, we were in a Renault Clio with, like, 5,000 horsepower, so... Oh, what's this? 
Half the stars acquired. Oh, awesome. We got a Lancia Delta. Um, okay, which one do we go for? Hmm. I want to go white, but I want to go black. Black looks nice. Let's go for black. I didn't know there was uh, awards for half of the stars as well. That's pretty sick. We got Lancia Delta. I wonder what that's for, though. Hmm. Um, but that is half of the stars gotten so far. Uh, let's go to the garage. Uh, what's racing gear? Nothing. How do we get more then? Purchase them in GT Auto. Oh, okay. Um, right, let's jump into the Camaro now. Right, changing over to the Camaro. And where's the racing gear? Okay. Oh, cool. So you can customize your driver. Gran Turismo official helmet. Okay, cool. Oh, these are getting expensive. What about the cheap ones? Arai... Is that Arai Carbon Fiber? Oh, that does look good. And it's got like a neck brace as well. So I feel like we need that. Purchase that. Yes, please. Uh, does it not equip it as well? No. Okay. Uh, so we got... Ooh, that's expensive. We'll go Black Alpenstein's though. That is very nice. Um, oh, and you get special outfits as well. Okay, interesting. We'll chuck those on in a minute. But what we are going to do is we're going to squeeze... Uh, with just simple power upgrades, we're going to squeeze a bit more power out of this car. Um, so we're going to go intakes... Catalytic. Sports exhaust. Yes. And we're going to have to make sure as well we have sports hards. We already have those. Nice. Uh, let's just run back to the garage quick then. And equip these. Where and where. Perfect. Look at that. You can't see him. <laughs> right, National B. Let's go for the FR Challenge on Grand Valley Speedway. And we are well within our performance rating. So, hopefully our car should be able to outperform easily for this. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, what have we got? We've got an Alfa Romeo 8C. Oh, and an RX-7. Okay. Those may be challenging to beat. Right, let's do this. Camaro, we're going to win. Got a lot of extra power in this car as well now. But we got to somehow beat an Alfa Romeo 4C. Like, that is a, uh, not even a 4C. Oh. Nearly lost the car. Not even an Alfa Romeo 4C though, because the 4C wasn't out when this game came out. We're beating the 8C. Actually, the 4C might have been out. Might have been. Don't hold me down on that one. I see the 4C just up ahead and our car is just about keeping up so hopefully we could overtake him on this lap C started drifting as it was slowing down then. Awesome. Nice. Squeezing past the Jaguar there. Nice. 
Nice. Oh, drifting around that corner. Additional style stars, please. I have a feeling that's not the driving line you were supposed to take for that corner, but we took it anyways. Here we go. Across the line. Across the finish. Two minutes. 28. Okay. Two minutes 28 for that. Very nice. Right, let's leave this race and head on to the next one. 7,000 credits. Very good. I think in this episode we won't have made anything or lost anything. So that's going to be decent. That'd be decent for once. Because I know in GT5 I lost a lot of money throughout it. Here we go. Trial Mountain next. This is a very... Fun track. And then Silverstone. I'm looking forward to Silverstone. I really am. Uh, two laps. 2.47 miles. Let's do this. Time to rock and roll. Ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Right. What cars are we looking at? Oh, those are very good. We got a Fair Lady, a M Coupe, and an XFR Jaguar as well. Nice. Right, we are going down the main straight. Here we go. Trial Mountain. The other cars get like a five second head start. It's ridiculous. Oh. Definitely not how that corner is supposed to be taken. It was really good seeing Trial Mountain back in Gran Turismo 4, Gran Turismo 7. Um, seeing as well, the entire of Trial Mountains had a complete rework. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting as well. It's gonna be interesting to see the monkey in the tree in 4K. That little Easter egg that's always been hidden in Trial Mountain forever. There's, there's no reference behind it, I don't think. Here we go. Let's get around this corner, overtake another car. On the inside there, very nice. Because we saw this section of the track in the trailer for GT7. Oh! That's not great. That's not great. We spun out. Um, but we saw this section. It was very flat. And this part, it doesn't sort of go around here anymore. It goes more straight and back on itself almost. It's weird. The track is slightly different. But I have a feeling it's like that because of like faster cars now. This track is very difficult to drive with a like GT race car almost. Awesome. Oh, slow down for here.
Right, do not spin out again. Perfect. There we go, nice. Oh, two wheels through there. Awesome. Across the line though, three minutes and 34 point, no, 33.9, interesting. Awesome, 7.4 seconds ahead as well. So the car is very strong and very powerful on this track. Right, on to the next one now. Three stars. Right, exit. On to the next track, which is going to be Silverstone. Really looking forward to that. Here we go. Silverstone, Camaro, let's go. FR challenge, so race number three. Silverstone. 7.32 miles for this race. So this is going to be a much, much longer race. And let's do this with traction control off completely. Give it a try. It's worth a try. Right, we have no traction control on now. So we have to moderate our throttle very much. Nice. Oh, it's slippy. We obviously do have like um, a tiny amount of like traction control based on the way the game works because of the fact that when you press accelerate it doesn't instantly put it on so that is like a little bit of natural traction control almost perfect awesome It's very bright for 5 o'clock in this game, though. Nice. What is that car ahead? Nice, 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 nice. I need to work out how to get um, fuel and tire damage, tire wear. I will try and get that sorted out for future. a Cam a Camaro like ours I think is it yes Camaro very much like ours actually except in white not gray right lap numero dos normally that corner you can take flat out in an F1 car And then this, this is what catches people out, this corner. Because it doesn't look that tight, but it actually goes back on itself. This one you can see. Oh, yes. We did it. We got one very good drift in. Very nice. Perfect. Here 
we go. Nice. Coming up to... I think it's Beckett. I'm pretty sure. Do you know one thing I wish... Um, Silverstone... Uh, not Silverstone. Gran Turismo would do. Is put, like, corners. Corner names. Just in the bottom corner where the... Um, rev counter is, if you see. Or somewhere. When they do Gran Turismo 7. Just have, like... The race... Um, the actual corner names because that would be really cool because then you can sort of learn them and obviously have an option to turn them off if you don't want them on that but I would love to be able to like learn all the corner names rather than just calling this the second to last chicane and then the final corner But, I mean, the finish line, we've already crossed there. But we use this one. Here we go. Finish. Let's see what our total time was. 4 minutes and 56.6. Very good. With an 8.1 second gap. Awesome. Look at that. 7,000 credits there. Perfect. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Run for your fucking life.